Welcome to Newspapers.com. In this video, we'll explore some effective search strategies and show how you can locate the people and historical events you're interested in. In our first example, we're going to look for news of a man named Walter T. Flynn. So let's type his first and last name in the search box on the home page. We could use advanced search and include a year range and a location, but to start off, we'll cast a wide net. With over 237,000 matches, though, we'll certainly want to narrow this search using the options here on the left. Walter lived from 1911 to 1969, so we'll use those years for our date range and click to update. The darker states on the map and the list of states below it indicate that Pennsylvania, Illinois, and Texas have the most matches. But the Flynn family was from New York, so let's choose New York here. And now we've got fewer matches to sort through. A search on newspapers.com provides you with the best matches based on how close together your search words appear on a newspaper page. We'll generally see a first and last name paired together. Let's see if any of these look promising. Since Walter Flynn grew up in Canandaigua, let's check out this article in the Daily Messenger. It looks like we found our man, at least as a young boy. We're going to clip it, describe it, then return to our search results. A little further down, this wedding headline catches our eye. Let's take a look. Zooming in, we learn that Walter T. Flynn married Ursula B. Tracy in 1937. Making note of the bride's name and the date of the paper, we're going to modify our search to see if we can learn more about this happy event. Before we do that, though, let's save this search so we can return to it later. Click the Save Notify button here, and voila, your search with all these choices is saved. You can change your mind and unsave it by clicking the button again. You can also view your saved searches by going to your username and choosing your profile where you'll see everything you've saved, including searches. Newspapers.com will notify you any time pages are added with a new match for that specific search. You can also click on a search link to return to your results anytime. Now we're going to look for more wedding-related news. Most weddings revolve around the bride, so we'll change the names we're looking for from Walter Flynn to Ursula Tracy. Now our search will look for her name. We see that she shows up quite a lot in Canandaigua's Daily Messenger. Next, let's narrow our date range since we're focusing on the wedding. We'll look for specific dates in 1937 and within the month of May. When the calendar appears, the blue highlighted dates are editions of the paper in which potential matches appear. We could choose the 20th where we saw our first announcement, but let's look at all of these. And the best way to do that is to choose one date and then click Add a Range. Next, choose another date. Now our search includes everything between May 8th and the 22nd. We now have a two-week time frame around the Tracy Flynn wedding, which includes bridal shower news and more about the wedding. Let's see if we can find more news about Ursula by going to the search page and using Advanced Search. We'll type her maiden name, Ursula Tracy, in the search box, New York as the location, and the dates 1912 to 1978. We find 128 matches. We've already narrowed our search by date and location, but we can narrow it even further to one newspaper or a selection of newspapers by clicking Choose Newspapers here. We'll restrict our matches to the Daily Messenger, although we could add a few others, but right now we'll focus on Ursula's hometown. Here are our search terms with a newspaper, the state, the time period, and the person we're searching for. We're looking at 107 best matches, but let's sort it a little differently, chronologically by oldest date. Now we can read Ursula's news from her younger years when she travels with her mother, to her marriage, of course, and her later years where we discover she used her maiden name as part of her full married name and appeared in local plays. We also find a photo of her. When her father died in 1932, it was headline news. When you have more than one search term on a page, you can click these arrows to highlight each appearance of each term. Now let's return to the home page and do one last search. This time we'll use quotation marks around Walter T. Flynn's name to significantly narrow the search parameters. We'll also choose dates for World War II when he was in the Navy to see what we get. When you specify your search using quotation marks, your results are narrowed significantly, but may show up without highlights. But you can choose the newspaper page and readily identify your match on that page. And here's Lieutenant Walter T. Flynn describing the sinking of a German sub. We definitely want to save this to our clippings of the Flynn and Tracy families. We hope this video has given you some ideas of how to create effective searches so you can be successful in finding articles about your family as well as headline news on newspapers.com.